Good morning, Hello, or actually good afternoon now, isn't it? Yeah, it's past noon, oh my goodness. Hey guys, I just got here to the Transportation and Ticket Center. I am so excited, today I am heading to Epcot. I am gonna do like a whole Festival of the Arts Day. I wanted to park here at Magic Kingdom though because then I have some plans, I wanna do some resort hopping tonight around like the Magic Kingdom monorail loop. So that's my plan, but if you can tell, I'm wearing my Festival of the Arts shirt. Well, it's not really, it's a Mickey Painter shirt that I'm considering the Festival of the Arts shirt. I got this from Uniqlo at Disney Springs and specifically bought it you might guys might remember my November trip when I bought this shirt I bought it and I was like I'm gonna be moving here around the time of Festival of the Arts so I've been waiting a while to wear this and it just symbolizes for me that it's like I'm here now it's very exciting so I want to go over to Epcot right now let's start heading right now over to the Epcot monorail I want to head to Epcot and I never had the chance yet to be at Epcot like, like other than when me and my parents were here and I hadn't started working yet to be there during the daytime and be able to catch the Animation Academy. I absolutely love when they do the Disney Animation Academy at this festival. I love it anytime. Like I love the experience, the animation experience they have at Animal Kingdom. I loved it back when it was at Hollywood Studios. Anybody remember that? That was the best. Um, and they only do it at Festival of the Arts. They do it two times a day at 12.30 and 1.30. So I just timing I've never hit it and that was like my specific mission today I was like I just want to go I want to do the animation academy so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now I am heading right now to get on the Epcot monorail oh my gosh and how's that for timing literally just when I walked up the ramp there's one <laughs> That definitely worked out better than the last couple days. If you refer to the last couple vlogs, I always was hitting it that it was like I was running up the ramp and the doors were closing. So this is how I like to hit it. when the last one of the day is starting for Animation Academy. So I'm now like booking it, but I walk pretty fast. So I, I feel like I can do it. I'm gonna power walk it back to the back of Epcot because it happens in the American Gardens Theater, which is the theater there at the American Adventure Pavilion. So I have quite a ways to go, but this is gonna be my exercise for the day. Kind of makes it complicated right now too with all the construction walls. We really have to like go through a maze to try to get back. Like before you could just go like straight back into World Showcase. Now it's like a whole rope around process and everything. But yeah, <laughs> we're gonna do it. Like I'm determined. I'm gonna make this happen right now. Oh my gosh, there's literally guys up doing work right now. Oh, they're going down, but they're doing work. But we're not even gonna stop to look at that because we're on a mission. We have our own mission breakout. Get it? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, it was so crazy. I made it into the World Showcase in Mexico. It is 1.24, so I have six minutes to get back to America. Can I do it? I'm gonna make that happen. We're power walking, getting a path here to go. We got this. Okay, America, I see you. You're there. It's 1.25 now. It is 1.28, I am in Germany. I may make this happen. You know what, I'm gonna make this happen. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's 129. I'm in Italy. I'm making it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I made it just in time. This is such perfect timing. And he just announced that we're doing Orange Bird, which you guys know, he's one of my favorite characters. On the submarine, so it's a 20,000 leagues based uh, painting and piece. That's what I did this year based on kind of one of my uh, 50th type memories. Some uh, attraction that's no longer here that I you know, I miss a little bit, right? Let's do some drawing. So Orange Bird, right? Orange Bird, yeah, he's had a, a great history at, at Walt Disney World here. He appeared actually for the first time in 1970, right before the park was open, became kind of the mascot at the time. So that's when Orange Bird first debuted, likes to help us with these features and stuff. The hardest thing with Orange Bird is probably his mouth. So we're gonna need a few lines to kind of help us uh, look at this thing and, and get it in the right place. We're gonna drop, he likes to think orange thoughts. 
So you can get a little thoughtful in there and have him say something. I'm Orange Bird. And uh, I hope you guys had fun. So everybody squeeze, squeeze it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hold up your drawings, let me see them, and then uh, I'm going to take a picture. Whoa, these are really good. Yeah, you guys did great with these. Okay, I'm going to get this side first. Say cheese. Oh yeah, these look great too. Really good job, you guys. All right, here we go. One, two. Thank you guys for coming out. The drawings are yours to keep, and the pencils are yours. Just take. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. I wish they did more of those within a day, but we do have the experience now over at Animal Kingdom. I just need to make it a point to go over and do that. Like, I want to have a day where I just constantly, like, go to Animal Kingdom and just, like, go around and around. Like what me and my family used to do at Hollywood Studios. That's what we would do when Animation Academy was at Studios. We would just, like, that would be our afternoon. We would go sometimes, like, four times in a row and just keep doing whatever they were drawing because they always draw something different. And this was... But I walked in there, so I was cutting it close. As you guys saw, I literally walked in right as they were announcing, you know, the animator, he was coming out. And so I made it in perfect timing. And as soon as he said they were doing Orange Bird, I just I was like, oh my gosh, Orange Bird's my guy. You guys know that, I love Orange Bird. So this was so fun, he was so cute to draw. And I'll have to look up the animator that I just had so that he has pieces here at the festival um, that he has a booth and is a Disney artist. And I'm like, that is so amazing. Yeah, he was saying the one piece that he made that was for Disney World's 50th anniversary is actually a, like, Nautilus um, print. So, you know, paying homage to old school Magic Kingdom, you know, with, like, the whole 20,000 leagues under the sea and everything. So, I would love to find that. I'm going to have to go find his yeah. booth and his artwork. So, here we go. We can always trust on an Epcot trash can to be able to come set my drawing down and I can show you guys up close. But he was also very good at, like, explaining everything. Orange Bird was so fun. It was, like, a nice little simple drawing, you know, some are more intricate, some are more, you know, just simple and fun. And this was definitely just like such a fun one to do. I wish like I could just keep going back around. Like I said, what we always used to do at Hollywood Studios, just keep going around and doing whatever they were drawing next. But I love it. I love this new backpack that I have and it has this little spot. It's actually meant for a laptop to put back here, but it's a perfect way to protect my little drawing. So I can go ahead and zip that up. Also then my other little Animation Academy pro tips. Sometimes I believe you can do this at Animal Kingdom I know they used to have this at Hollywood Studios that you could ask the cast member for a rubber band and then roll it up I've also always used a hair tie before like I'll just get in my Backpack and pull out a hair tie and I've done that before to like preserve my drawing so little pro tip for Animation Academy All right, so mission accomplished what I wanted to come over here and do today now I'm just gonna relax and enjoy my time in Epcot so right now I'm just wondering about, I'm gonna go ahead in the Wonder Ground. Oh wow, that worked out well. <laughs> I'm gonna wander into the Wonder Ground gallery and look at some art. Oh my gosh, how cute. There's Orange Bird again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love that of Belle. That is so pretty. I hadn't seen that before. Look, it's um, Robin Hood and Marion. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm feeling like I'm ready for a snack at my first festival item of the day. This is the coconut and passion fruit smoothie, and I'm really excited to try this and a bit of a story time behind this. So as you can see, they give you this one in like a really cute collectible glass. And ever since we saw this, I had been wanting to get this because my mom said, I'm gonna link the video to the very first Festival of Arts Day that we had when we were here on opening day. And I got a dish back in Japan. And the plate that it came on was so cute. And I was like, I need to take this for my apartment. And I li literally did. I went in and I like washed it off and took it back to my apartment. And like, I used that plate in my apartment. And when we saw this, like I specifically, I didn't even care what it was. And it's a delicious smoothie. So like, I'm gonna love it. But I specifically wanted to get this for the cup because it has the cute little souvenir collectible cup. And this was only like $4 and something. So it's a really good value. And you get a little souvenir cup. And I was like, this would be a perfect juice glass because I do not yet have a juice glass. So actually, when I was here with my friend Alyssa and Jack, her son Jack, um, they ordered this and they tried it and they loved it. And they were so sweet and they actually gave me the cup because I was saying how I wanted to come back and get it to get the cup. So they actually gave me theirs. And so I have that one in my apartment and now I have my own here. So I have a matching set of two. So thank you Alyssa and Jack if you're watching. But yes, I'm excited to now actually get to try this because they had it and they said it was really good. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is possibly better than a Dole Whip even. 
like I, I'm a huge fan of a Disney Dole Whip and like I was actually thinking about getting that today but and I still love that but this is like a Dole Whip but like the coconut it, it's coconut and passion fruit that the smoothie is I don't know if I said that yet it's coconut and passion fruit you definitely get both of those flavors and the coconut just makes it so creamy and it's like light and it's like today you know it's a warm day this is absolutely perfect okay I, I think I might have like maybe a whole collection of these cups because I'm probably gonna get this again before the festival is over and like seriously how cute is the cup it's adorable and this was from the booth that I can never pronounce the name of but it's between France and Morocco here I realized this the other night it's actually themed to Encanto the new movie so it's all like a lot of Colombian dishes Colombian flavors and yeah this is amazing and I still have to get the empanada from there because that's one of the stamps that counts towards the like festival stroll thing yeah, they currently have, they do this at a lot of the festivals where when you get the passport book, always make sure you get that passport book and look and see if there's any like special kind of promotions or things going on. If you get, there's like five different festival items that it counts towards you like earning a special treat. I believe it's a cookie that they have. So you have to get all five stamps or you can get like multiple of one item. If you like something more than another, you just have to get five stamps of the items that count towards the artful stroll they have a name for it I'll flash it up on the screen I have one stamp so far so I need to come back and I know that empanada is one of them that counts towards the artful stroll or whatever it is so I'm probably gonna try that at some point and I may even get another one of these because this is seriously so good so I just went on a little walk from over in between France and Morocco there and I came all the way over here to Canada is right behind me here and got these two little tables set up right here and I was like I'm gonna stop here I was like walking and sipping the rest of my smoothie and I'm like I'm just gonna pull over here finish my drink and just look at this view Look at the cute Disney ducks that are here too. <laughs> oh, she just took a drink. Also, I love this little seagull. He's down having a little nap right there on the sand. finished my drink and I'm gonna go rinse this out and we will continue our trek around probably I'm gonna head into future world I think and see what I can get up to there but yeah I just texted my mom and like her and my dad also want to collect these and I'm like I can help you do that because this is seriously such a delicious drink so it makes you know when you actually enjoy it it's like yeah it's gonna be very easy to collect a whole lot of these and here's the update as of February 3rd 2022 Big Mint Popcorn Buckets are still currently unavailable. There is no word if they're coming back or not. It'd be amazing if they could surprise us because you guys all did convince me in the comments of my recent video. I should go ahead and get one if they come back. And if they come back, it's gonna be such a hot commodity. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I get over here and we're gonna try to get one. Okay, so now I'm heading into Future World from World Showcase and I may actually go ahead and ride Figment's ride. Speaking of Figment, then I get to pay homage to my two favorite Disney characters today, Figment and Orange Bird. I got to draw Orange Bird, and now we're gonna get to celebrate Figment by doing his ride. Okay, let's go visit my guy. <laughs> Figment is only a 10 minute wait, so that's pretty much gonna be just continual walking. The fun fact is you know the flowers, the chairs, the phones all here, those are all Figment colors. It's the purple, yellow, and orange. I love this ride so much. Figment is classic Disney to me. I can remember my very first trip in kindergarten, like becoming obsessed with Figment. I got the Figment plush, which still sits on my desk to this day, if you would've seen my little apartment update video. I love Figment. <laughs> Years, it's about listening with your imagination. Now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you have
when it's set free. You said it, Doc. Imagination is a flash. here as well. So we have two meet and greets going on in here. I always get excited every time I come into the shop here. I can still remember as a child in kindergarten getting my figment plush from in here. That's like a distinct memory that I have. And I always like to come in here and see if they have anything new figment merch wise. It seems like I've been seeing this for a while, this kind of long sleeve tee. But oh wait, this is new. Oh my gosh, the ear hat. Okay, I actually like really, really love this. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know I'm huge into Christmas decorations and ornaments. And look how Figment's just like lounging up on top of here. This is so cute. Oh wow, I might need to get this at some point. Also, this phone case is Figment in his holiday sweater. That's really cute. Oh, and it's Dreamfinder is the snowman. I also have these like holographic pop sockets. Show it off there. Well, they also have one of these ear hats that it's Soren. There's Pilot Mickey. That is so cool. Yeah, these are definitely new. I had not seen these before. I like that. Looks like the ear hat ornaments are $24.99. Actually, I have here in the Figment gift shop a whole little section of Soren merchandise. I hadn't seen that before. The Minnie Mouse have a nice flight t shirt. That's really cute. It feels so amazing out here. Yeah. I was mentioning this in the vlog that I did yesterday, but it had been really cold here in Florida for like a week straight. And I kept telling everybody, like everybody I work with and everything, I was joking, they would ask like where I'm from. And I'm like, I'm from Pennsylvania. And I'm like, yeah, I brought the cold with me. That was kind of the running gag. So I'm so happy. Like it finally feels like Florida and I, I love it. That's the reason I came here. One of the many reasons I came here. I have like a million reasons. Disney being the biggest, and Florida, in general, is my true home. Yeah, that was a tangent. <laughs> but yes, so I am just so happy it finally feels like Florida again. Now, I am going to go, what do I always say? I just said this in the vlog I did yesterday too. It's not a trip to Epcot for me, unless I ride, you guys know, living with the land. So that's where I'm heading now. in that greenhouse. They do have the behind the scenes walking tour, which I've done that before in the past, and it's amazing. I don't, that's not happening right now. Hopefully soon, oh wait, monorail, there it goes. But yeah, hopefully soon they will bring that back. I love being in there, and so yeah, it'd be cool though. My The experience that I wanna have happen is that you can just like sit in the greenhouse on like an Anirondack chair, and just like chill out, maybe I could like edit a video, just sitting in there. A couple years ago, I was like joking. Maybe even been this past food and wine. You know how like, depending on the time of year, like at Christmas, they do a fun overlay to Living with the Lamb with lights and they have the Sandman, Snowman and everything. But for food and wine, they had a setup that they had like two chairs and like a little string light set and it looked like a picnic scene with some glasses of wine and everything. And I was like, 
can I like pay to have that experience? Like, you know, a dinner date in Epcot? <laughs> also, I had to give the update that I saw my lizard friend. If you saw the one vlog, I was saying how we have a lizard that is living inside of the greenhouse here. And I just saw him again. <laughs> Actually, I saw two in there. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the seas with Nemo. And then I wanna like just take some time and I love just exploring the seas pavilion in here and looking at all the marine life. And I have not seen since becoming a Floridian. I always compare everything to like, have I done it yet as a Floridian? I have not went to see Lou and Lil Joe. If you don't know who they are, Lou and Lil Joe are the resident manatees here at Epcot that live here inside of the seas. So let's go on a underseas adventure now. ride will actually pop you out right here in the seas pavilion and I just saw over here look they actually have a scuba diver it's like oh there's a couple scuba divers right here in the tanks oh they're cleaning that's so cool to see okay so we have to go see Lou and little Joe they are right in here they actually have two like viewing areas for the manatees, you can come see them here on the bottom level and you can see like the under the sea view and then you can go upstairs and you can see like the top of their tank down in. So let's see where they are today. Oh, here's one of them. Let's see, who is that? Oh, that's little Joe. Hi, little Joe. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. And where's Lou at? I don't see Lou. Maybe he's backstage. Oh, looks like little Joe's going backstage too. There he goes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's Lou. There he was. And little Joe's thinking about coming back out. He's like, I'm coming this way. Oh my goodness. Hi guys, I've missed you. <laughs> hey cutie. Oh my goodness. We'll have to head upstairs too and see them from the upstairs viewing. Yeah, right now let's go in and see some of the other exhibits that they have in here. I just can stand here all day. Like, this type of stuff fascinates me. It's very relaxing to look at marine life. Oh my gosh, look, these are all like little hermit crabs. Oh my gosh, I'm like a little like snail guy. <laughs> look at him like on the side of the tank. And there's the hermit crabs. They're so cute. Maybe that's what I could get for a pet right now. I need another hermit crab. I had them growing up. <laughs> oh, there's Dory. I found her. Oh, and over here is Nemo. We got Nemo and Marlin, it looks like. shrimp <laughs> they got like real long whiskers or antennas oh my gosh here's one of these little like snail guys he made it like quite the ways here's the bottom of the tank and he's like i am determined i'm climbing all the way up here there's i believe a sea urchin and yeah just look at these little like shrimps look at their faces Look at this guy, the lionfish is up here. There's also another little guy, he's like completely camouflaged in. Can you see him? Right there. There's also an octopus. You can see it's like tentacle there, and there's more tentacle in there. So like, is that multiple ones? How does he have himself wrapped around here? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's cute. 
Oh my gosh, and one of the eels, look, he's like completely out over here. Usually they're all hiding in their little holes, like that guy up there, who just has his head sticking out. But this guy's like just out here chilling. Hi. Hello. How they like this guy? They just wrap themselves like all through here. I wonder how many they have here in this tank. Okay, I'm gonna head up now to the second level. So up here we can find Lou and Little Joe's upstairs exhibit. There they are. Oh my gosh, she just threw a head of lettuce in. Oh, look at him. Oh my goodness. Also, they recently did, like redid all these like upstairs posters and everything it looks like. And here comes little Joe. We just got that lettuce. It looks like little Joe is munching. Oh, he's gonna get the rest. There he goes, he got it. <laughs> Look at their whiskers they have on there. Like little snout. Okay, I'm gonna explore some of the other upstairs exhibits and everything. They have the nursery over here. So this is all like the baby fish. And I remember, I think before they had maybe like baby sea fish or sea fish? What are those little, what am I trying to think of right now? The like, we just saw them downstairs. Seahorses, seahorses, oh my gosh. The seahorses, I believe they have them here. Yeah, look, here we go. They have like coral that's like just taking formation here. Stuff that needs a little bit extra care. Some baby fish, aww. There's some fish, oh my goodness. There's some big guys in here. So I wonder, are these like the parents? They must be. <laughs> yeah, here you can see some like little coral just getting started that they're starting to grow. Oh, look at this baby fish. Hi. So you'll see in here, the little sea urchin is actually wearing a tiny Mickey Mouse ears hat. And I was talking to the cast member downstairs because they had some sea urchins down there that were wearing Mickey ear hats. And I was asking her like what that was. And she said they're basically just their 3D printed little ear hats. But she said it's actually a natural behavior for sea urchins when they find things that they pick them up and they put them on their head. That's a natural behavior for them. So it's kind of like their enrichment that they give them little Mickey Mouse ear hats. And I think that is adorable. So the little guy upstairs here he also has one. I also didn't realize they have these tiny sharks in here too. Look at them. Oh my gosh. There's another guy back there too. Yeah, definitely always try to talk to the cast members in here because they are so knowledgeable and like they love to you know to tell you all the different facts and everything. So I've had like some really nice conversations with in the past cast members in here that are just they love to stop and like tell you about the fish or any of the animals that are in here. So it's definitely like it, you learn some really neat things. So take your time in this pavilion. It's one that like I love having times like this that I can just like kind of take my time and like try to catch some of the enrichment seminars that they do occasionally. Right now I don't think they're doing it because they're actually cleaning this tank. But over here, this is where they have the dolphins usually and usually they have like a trainer come out and different times of the day you can catch when they're doing like dolphin enrichment in here. Let's see who's over here in this tank. Oh, it looks like, did they make like a fun formation, the cast members in here? I can't tell what it is. Yeah, I see one of the big stingrays. Looks like he's sleeping right down there. There's the hammerhead. You see? He's got hammerhead. And how many teeth do turtles have? Right. Look at him, he's so big. Yeah, he is. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I actually just overheard the cast member telling some guests in there that they're cleaning the dolphin tank right now. And they said dolphins are so extremely friendly, but they said because of that, 
they would not leave the um, cast members that are trying to clean the tank alone and they would not be able to get their work done. So they said anytime they clean that tank, they have to like take the dolphins backstage in their backstage tank. And they said opposite of the sharks, they said dolphins are like the dogs of the ocean. They're just like friendly and want to see everybody. And then he was saying that sharks, they will just, it, it, you would think, you know, everyone's always like, oh, sharks are so scary and everything. Like, you shouldn't be in a tank with them. They said the people that clean the shark tank, they will get in the water with the sharks and the sharks want no parts of them. They said they're like cats. Not like my Mickey. My Mickey is different. He's more like, a, we always say he's like a cat dog because he has more the personality of a dog. He's the friendliest cat. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes cats have that personality trait where they're more like keep to themselves, independent. They said that is how the sharks are. So like when they're cleaning the shark's tank, I remember I was at another aquarium one time where I heard this as well, that they can get in with the sharks and the sharks are actually like afraid of them and like will just stay at the bottom and like not want any parts of it. So I just thought that was like really funny. So they said whenever they clean the dolphin tank, they actually have to take the dolphins backstage. But when they clean the shark tank, they just get in with them. <laughs> Well, that was so fun. That is always something I highly recommend. It's like a little hidden gem here in Epcot. Like, take some time to just explore the seas. Like, don't just do the Nemo ride and like bypass everything else. Like, walk around in there. There's a lot to look at, a lot to like just learn, and it's just like a nice, relaxing little like part of your Epcot day. I'm trying to see if they say mine, mine, mine. Oh, they're quiet right now. Of course, as I'm walking away, there they go. Mine, mine, mine. Hey guys, so while editing this, I realized that I actually had a lot of footage from this day that I had off. So I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this right here and then make my evening activities its own separate video. So that will be coming immediately after this upload. So the next day that I upload, I will have the resort hopping evening that I had in that vlog. That will be its own thing. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please go ahead, give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments. All that goes such a far way. And with that, Make today magical and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys.